So here's my delivery driver and the five panels, six by six fences have come. You ready? Lift in the back. So we can basically just store them in a house. Now you're probably thinking, why have we brought the fences in the house? And the short answer is to keep it dry from the rain. Also, if you're painting outside, it's a lot more convenient not to keep bringing the fence in and out or covering it from the rain. So it's just a more effective use of your time. If you do decide to paint inside the house, make sure you can protect your walls and the floor from paint. And also keep in mind to keep your rooms well ventilated when you're painting too. And then slowly paint them with these tubs. And the paint we chose to go with is a water-based one, which is made by Ron Seal. And before painting, we also have to prepare the surface of the fence itself. In this video, we're basically going to do that by sanding the fence down. One of the main reasons to sand the fence is to create a good key for the paint to go onto and to get rid of any splinters and to make it a better surface in general to touch. When you do sand, make sure you remember to get every single edge. So for example, the underside, the side of the fence, uh, any intricate areas that you think you might miss, make sure you cover them. one already been done here nice and smooth and to show you what exactly the sand is actually doing in slow motion I've slowed down the video for you so just gonna mix it up a little bit now moving on to the painting make sure you mix the paint well with the drill mixer as you would do for any other paint It always helps to get more people painting at the same time, but you have to work efficiently together. For example, as you can see in this clip, I am painting on the right hand side and my partner is painting on the left without getting in each other's way. Oh, and one thing I forgot to mention earlier, if it has rained on your fence or the fence is wet, make sure you let it dry out thoroughly. Otherwise, a new coat of paint will not bond to the existing surface. If you're wondering what brush we use, it's just a standard brush we had in our garage. The main thing with the brush is to make sure that it contacts all areas of the fence when you paint. For example, if there is small gaps, make sure your brush is small enough to get into those gaps. So that's where we are at the moment. There's one almost complete in there. And one in there. Got a few more to do. Now here's something to think about. If you have neighbours that have a specific coloured fence and you also get along with them quite well, then there's no harm in asking them if they'd like you to paint the same colour. Hence why we've chosen a brown for the other side. And now it's time to shift it up a gear. And now I thought to finish off the video with a time lapse for the last fence. <laughs> 